14 Truth About Money That Bank Don't Want You To Know In 2019, 94.6% of U.S. households had at least a checking or savings account, and 72.5% had a bank credit card or personal loan. Since banks are such an important part of our lives, it's critical to understand how they work so you can make better financial decisions. Unfortunately, there are some things banks don't want you to know, such as how hidden fees or using a low-interest savings account can make it more difficult for your money to work for you. Here are a few other secrets your bank is probably trying to keep under wraps. Before we start, if you don't want to miss out my latest video, don't forget to subscribe my channel and press the bell too. 1. Credit unions may provide better loan rates. Credit unions are non-profit organizations with low overhead costs, because of this, they can pass on savings in the form of lower interest rates on loans, mortgages, and even credit cards. Credit unions may also have lower account fees, although it's always a good idea to compare multiple lenders when you're applying for a loan or mortgage. 2. Bounce checks can cost you money if you deposit them. Depositing a check that is returned due to insufficient funds can cause you quite a bit of headache as well as some unexpected fees. If you spent any of the deposit that was returned, you'll probably have to pay back the amount you spent along with overdraft fees if your account becomes overdrawn. Some banks will also charge you a return check fee if you deposit a bad check, but there are ways to avoid paying overdraft fees. 3. Keep your ATM transactions receipt. Many people prefer not to receive an ATM receipt because they end up as scrap paper or crumpled at the bottom of a bag. It's a good practice to keep your ATM receipts, at least until you've confirmed the transaction has been posted and is correct. If an error occurs within the bank or the ATM gives you the incorrect amount of money, you will have documentation of your transaction and will be able to get the bank to correct it. 4. Overdraft protection is optional. Overdraft protection ensures your transactions will go through, even if you do not have sufficient funds in your account. However, the service is frequently charged a high fee, sometimes as much as $35 per occurrence. In addition, you may be charged multiple overdraft fees per day. It's a good idea to set up text or email bank alerts so you know if you're close to overspending. As of January 2022, some major banks including Bank of America and Capital One have announced that they are either reducing or eliminating overdraft fees. 5. You may be held accountable for fraudulent transactions. According to federal law, you are protected from unauthorized charges if you report a lost or stolen credit card immediately and before someone else uses it. However, if you report the card after fraudulent charges have been made, you may be liable for at least a portion of the money taken. If you wait up to two business days to report your card lost or stolen, you may be responsible for up to $50 of the transaction. If you wait more than two days or up to 60 calendar days after your statement is sent to you, you could lose up to $500. Check your accounts frequently, if not daily, and report any fraudulent charges or stolen cards immediately. 6. Deposits are not always available right away. Each bank or credit union has its own rules about how long it takes to deposit a check. According to federal law, banks must make funds available in a reasonable amount of time. This can take up to two days or more for deposits over $5,000 or for deposits made at a third-party bank or ATM. Banks may also have a different timetable for deposits made through mobile apps instead of at an ATM or local branch. Be sure to check the policy for your bank, so you don't inadvertently bounce a check or get hit with overdraft fees. 7. Savings account rates can change overnight. The annual percentage yield on savings accounts offered by banks is variable and can change at any time, even overnight. Savings account rates are based on the federal funds rate, which is how much banks borrow or lend to each other overnight to meet Federal Reserve requirements, these rates tend to fluctuate depending on how the economy is doing. If you want to earn the most interest on your short-term savings, look for high-yield savings accounts, which are generally found at online banks. 8. Paying off a loan early could cost you more money. As you learn how to manage your money, 
you might think it's a good idea to pay off your loan when you have some extra cash. While paying off a credit card early may be beneficial to your credit, paying off an auto or personal loan early might subject you to an early payoff fee from your lender. Paying off a loan early will also shorten your history of successful payments. Since your payment history makes up 35% of your FICO score, you could be missing a valuable opportunity to improve your credit. 9. A free checking account does not exist. While looking for the best checking account, you may come across some options that are free or have no fees. While those might look appealing, some may have high account minimums and hidden fees, such as ATM use, check printing, and overdraft protection. Fortunately, banks are required to disclose any fees or charges when you open an account, so make sure you read all of the requirements and are aware of any potential fees. 10. Banks can repay themselves. The right of offset rule allows banks to withdraw funds from your checking or savings account and use them to pay off another debt you have with the same bank. For example, if you missed a payment on an auto loan and have a checking account with the same bank, they can deduct funds from your checking account to get you current on the auto loan. Right of offset language is typically included in the agreement you sign when opening the account, although the specific wording may differ from one bank to another. 11. Banks must notify you before raising your interest rate. Credit card companies were once allowed to increase interest rates on outstanding balances when a late payment for an unrelated loan or account was reported to the credit bureaus. However, the Card Act of 2009 restricted credit card companies to raising interest rates only when an introductory period ends, if they're linked to another rate, or if a payment is more than 60 days late. Credit card companies must notify customers of interest rate increases or other changes at least 45 days in advance in all other cases. 12. Small business loans can be difficult to obtain. Banks weigh several factors when reviewing small business loan applications, while there are numerous loan options available, obtaining approval for a business loan can be difficult. Factors like how long you've been in business, your personal credit score, and your financial statements or tax returns can all impact the success of your loan application, depending on the type of financing you apply for, your chances may improve. 13. For high-yield savings accounts, online banks are a better option. As you shop around for the best savings account, you may think keeping all your accounts with the same bank will save you time and effort. However, online banks typically provide a higher APY than traditional brick-and-mortar banks, so do some comparison shopping before opening another account. 14. You should read the fine print. When signing up for a new checking account or loan, many people skip right over the terms and conditions, but make sure you read and understand the fine print. Before signing up, it's important to know what you agree to since disclosure statements are considered legal documents. Read the terms and conditions carefully, and don't be afraid to ask for clarification if something is unclear. Not understanding how your bank accounts work may be costing you in terms of fees and lost interest earnings over the course of your life. Do your homework, make sure you understand all of the account details, and ask questions so you have all of the facts. If you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel, see you in the next episode.